So the episode opens with Chelsea finding out the sex of her baby and find out it's a boy and they happy for the boy. Congratulations. Are in order. Congratulations, both of you. Well, I see somebody college paying off of them. They got a little bit of smarts and intelligence. Kale talking about we in Harvey going to mediation and we gonna do a trial for 50 50 and see can we get along and not do it. That's the smartest thing you can never do for your life. You see how we attached to both boys. Why ruin that good thing cause you up in your goddamn pissy ass feelings. You might well go in and live with it. Put a period on there. Both boys wanna go with Harvey. Can't nothing you can say about it cause they both attached to him both dearly. And when I want to miss son of one night here son he still Think of him as a son, as you see, he admitted that he think of um leaking. I mean leaking. As it as a son, so don't try to fight that. I'm glad you maturing. It took your ass long enough, and good job on your maturing. And don't fight, and don't you do this damn custody bullshit that you did all that with um with Joe ass. Cause you don't know what the fuck out of me that season. Every damn time you taking that boy to court, to court, back to bad. I'm glad you growed up and you ain't doing that bullshit no more. I give you credit for that one. I know that's right, Liam. You finally leaving on time and you ain't got no issues. You had a little problem with the traffic and bitching, but good job waking up early and getting your daughters and your mama morning duties on time. I'm proud of you at least that. Nah, this is the part where you finna stress me out. Where you finna stress your own ass out, meaning you finna stress me out because I got to sit here and look at this shit because I know it's coming sooner or later. We never gonna have a full episode with you not stress free. So, they eat nothing easy with the stress free, and then I went they gonna start with the fuck shit with you stressing out about something, cause I know it's coming, it ain't failed yet. I know that's right. Please hurry up and do this custody thing. Like I said, I agree with both sides of the spectrum. I agree with Janelle some part. I somewhat agree with the man, man. Even though I hates me to say that, I kind of agree with her some parts, some pinches. I give her pinches. Because that's all she deserves. Because she be doing too much when it comes to somebody else, child. Like I said, Barbara, man, you never going to get along. You just need to go ahead and get that check. Girl, that girl, at least try her out with about a week or a month with that baby or something. You ought to at least get that girl a little bit of leeway. You see her doing better or whatnot. You, you can at least do that. And by most parents, they all do that. Your ass just want to be self and I'm going to leave that alone because that ain't none of my damn business. I ain't got to fight for my damn child. Thank you, Lou. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah or whatnot. So I'm just going to leave that situation alone till it comes up. Nah, it ain't about money. She working at Walmart. She getting paid about six, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars about about every two weeks. It ain't about the money. I know how Walmart get paid, and they pay your ass good, Janelle. It's not about the money. She didn't got two goddamn attached to your child, and now she don't want to let him go. She didn't got two attached as a grandma, and now she willing to fight you tooth and nail, even if that means destroying y'all relationship, y'all head. She willing to do it, cause she too damn attached to your baby. It ain't about money. It's about her being greedy and won't give you back your damn child. That's what that about. It really is a sad day in history and life. When you got to fight when you got to fight your own goddamn mama, bring up all your dirty laundry, hard dirty laundry, just to get custody of your own fucking child. It really is a sad. It don't look good on there on one of y'all. Mostly you, Barbara. You just a damn grandma. And you doing this make show us that you just want to hold on to that baby like that baby belongs to you. And it really don't belong. Barbara, I can't with you. Maybe you need to go get you some counseling. And maybe something wrong with you that you really not really ruin your damn relationship with your own goddamn daughter. Bringing up her own dirty, dirty secrets and her past when she doing much better than that. And that's her past. She don't live there no more. Just to keep custody of her goddamn child. 
Barbara, they're saying a lot about you, hun, and I hope you enjoying this role you playing, because don't matter what happens, you still going to be that evil lady that kept the, cup her, cup the, dog, cup the mother away from her child, just because you want to be attached to the baby, and you want to hold on tight, and don't get that girl any type of leeway with her own fucking child. Barbara, you really do need to think about this, and pray hard about this, and see how you look like this, and seeing that you're in your, you and your daughter relationship is not not gonna never be the same once it's all said and done. But I'm pretty sure Janelle gonna be mad at you for some years over this shit. And I wouldn't blame her if she don't talk to you no more once she get custody of her child. Cause I wouldn't want to talk to you no more. You doing me like this. I'm just being honest. So we get to Javi and Jacob. Kel agreed to the 50 50 finally. Thank God ain't no court involved. Hopefully, maybe. Then Kel opened her big big ass mouth and gonna tell him, look, I had the child most of the time. I feel like I shouldn't have to share 50-50 with you. I want to be separate and claim I want to have all the 50-50. You don't deserve 50-50. With any man, any father, they'll take offense to that. So he said his opinion. He said what was on his mind and now you mad storming out. Kel, you got to learn to use your words more carefully. What kind of father wouldn't want to hear that or wouldn't argue with you about that 50-50 bullshit? What father wouldn't sit there and argue with you about that? You dumb for bragging up that that shit. Talking about some, I had him all the time. I, I, should, I deserve 50-50 because I'm the mother. So, the other parents around here that's that's actually a father that got 50 and uh, of the parent that got 30, maybe 20%. That's illegal. That's wrong. That it shouldn't be that way. There's a reason why the mama don't have 50 something. And like I said, and I always said, and I'm always stuck in there. If a mama don't have at least half a custody of their child, there's something wrong with them. Kel already know something wrong with your ass or bringing that shit up around that man. Like that man ain't never been out to me in that child. Life. And then one of them children alive. Yeah, he might have gone out of town or on work what what he in. But still, how could you not deny that man class up y'all both slash 50-50 down the middle? How can you deny you want to deny that man 50-50 and you see you got your ass handed to the you deserve that and he deserved to come at you like that but saying that he did he less half and he don't deserve to have 50-50. See that see, see you're being selfish again, Kale. You're being selfish. How you they gonna talk about something you deserve? Okay, then, fine. I'll be a good father, too. Why don't he deserve half of that pie? Why can't y'all just split it down the middle like you said? And then you're going to try to prove your case to him why you should get 50-50 and he Kel, go to hell. Go directly to hell. Because you say I'm dumb saying some dumb shit like that. And I'm glad he cut you off. And then get you trying to open your mouth and put your foot back in it. Boy, she loved that victim card, and he loved to throw low blow. I just came here to talk. I didn't want to throw no low. Bitch, what you think? You took the low blow, and you talking about he don't deserve 50-50. That's not a low. Kel, take your victimizing ass on somewhere. Just because he... There's no winning with you, is it? Everybody, they're supposed to sit there and take it, and they're supposed to be allowed to say that. Just because y'all got a little real for a 50 50, why he talking about some why he don't deserve 50 50, and you feel that he, you should have 50 50, he shouldn't. And just because y'all got a little, just a little, just a little bit of agreement with that, just a little agree, disagreement, you took it and took it at 12, and now you can't run out of, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this. Kel, you got to grow up and stop acting like a child. Everybody ain't going to pat your back and help you burp every damn time you throw a little temper tantrum. It's time for you to grow the hell up sooner or later, Kel. Okay, he called you to apologize and he want to get heated. You going to tell him to shut his mouth, choose his battles. Now you're talking to him like you the mom and he the son. You really don't know how to talk to people, do you, Kale? How you gonna tell this man to shut your mouth and choose your battles? When bitch, you don't know how to do neither or the or. 
Girl, you really do think highly of yourself. Ooh. You really is full of shit, aren't you, Kaya? How you gonna tell this man to shut his mouth and choose his battle? There's another way to place that, to say that without being rude and fucking disrespectful. Bye, Kaya. Cause the more I talk, to, I can do a whole video about you right this moment, but I chose not to. Let me stop, cause I'm already going over now. I'ma hush and I'ma leave you the hell alone for the night, cause I'm done with you. Come on now, who really surprised or shocked that Barbara ain't got no real reason why she keeping Jace away for Janelle like the way she can? Cause she punish, punishing Janelle for some shit she probably did and she probably lost control over Janelle, which you can see with her getting pregnant. And you can tell that Barbara lost all control over Janelle when the fight for the drugs and all that. This is payback, punishing her with Jace. Of course, Jace don't know no better, though. So he's long with the ride. Of course, she ain't got no fucking real reason why she keeping that for. And in the reason she do come out where she gonna look dumb saying it. Just like that, I don't know why I got a real reason. Now she bringing up, I, I don't trust David. He seems sketchy. Who was shocked, or, and please tell me who was shocked, and who was appalled to hear that Barbara don't really got no damn good reason why she's keeping that baby away from there, only to punish Janelle. Who don't know this? I die. I've been screaming out this the first time I noticed this shit when she, when, uh, Season 3, when Janelle tried to get back custody of her child, I've been noticed that, that she didn't want to get with that child back. Of course she don't. Because this is punishment. She could control Janelle. She got Janelle's baby. She going to control him. And she don't got no real viable reason why she want to keep that boy. Not now logical that the judge would say, okay, you should keep it because of this and that. Because Janelle is doing much fucking better than she was before. And it's killing and Barbara, and she knows she gonna lose control of that sooner or later. She take a heart, she would rather put out all this money than go in the court or whatnot. Besides handing that baby all over to Janelle, what she should have been done in the first place. She went to lose her relationship with her daughter just to keep this child away from her. Who don't know that this punishment? Best that this Barbara punishes Janelle. Come on now, open your eyes, Janelle. I, you you should have been known this, and I'm surprised that you didn't. Figure this out soon or later that your mama best was just punishing your ass with your own goddamn child. Come on now, everybody see that this just basically punished me on your behalf. <laughs> so we get back to um, Chips and her friend. They bring up the bomb himself, Adam, and then they announced that he got a warrant out for his rep for child to put over ten thousand dollars for both Chelsea and Taylor child. And basically his main reason he said he don't wanna pay child support because he think it's for um Chelsea, not for Aubrey. I can't with Adam. I just can't. I'm just going to leave that there and I'm going to move the fuck on because I'm not talking about that bomb today. I got better things to do. Well, gee, that was awkward. <laughs> she went to pick, um, Leah went to pick up Adam. They had a little small talk. Um, Jeremy bring up he's engaged and that he's happy. Leah try to be happy, try to be happy in the best way she can. Bring up the concerns. They get a little snippet there. Can you say awkward? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all still kind of hot for each other. Y'all spot, spot plus still sparking everywhere. Y'all don't know how to talk cordial. It's awkward as fuck. It's awkward to see y'all two together. Because y'all two in the bitch that are trying to get along. And it comes out weird for both of y'all. And for him to announce that, yeah, he engaged. I think he should have waited a little bit longer, but then again, that's not none of my business. So y'all two have fun trying to work out y'all single parenting deal thing here y'all got going on. Oh, Barbara, you go to hell. 
Now you bringing up her boyfriend, her ex-boyfriends that I might add besides David. And then you bringing up her education. If you can afford to live, if that baby can live off your Walmart budget and your Walmart paycheck month to month, week to week, then Janelle shouldn't have no problem with a college education or whatever she do with her college education. Barbara, stop bullshitting me and stop bullshitting the people. You know damn well why you keeping that baby up with that girl. You can stop with the bullshit now. And here you go trying to make up your damn tired of the excuses. Get that girl back her baby and stop playing around. We know you gonna miss the baby shooter, but I mean the baby ain't gonna be gone away from you for fucking ever. Now, Barbara, you're pissing me the fuck off with all these damn lies you coming out your mouth with. You too old to be lying. What do you mean, reality, that it hit you that she really going through? You damn right she going through. What you mean? What she... Barbara, I don't know what kind of pill or what happy pill you taking or what kind of drugs you on. What the fuck you mean she really going through with this? You damn right she going through this guy. She want her fucking child. You little evil ass woman. What the hell? So, her not fight for her child. She not supposed to fight for her fucking child. You'll be better her than say she give up. You can have him. Barbara, are you really that cuckoo? So, she not supposed to fight for her child. Uh, show that she want her fucking child. She better let you... Barbara, you really starting to get under my skin, and I really mean that. I don't talk to old people like that, but I'm about to give you the goddamn finger myself, because you really is delusional, and you think this woman, not girl, not fit to fight for her fucking child. Really? So you want her to just lay down and die, not fight for her child? I mean, she really going through it. Oh, well, she get what she deserves. I wonder how the y'all family feel about this whole delusional thing that you done got in your mind that she signed up a cussing of you, Tim River cussing over you, not going through the years. She done did all these jumps and hoops and loops for your ass. Now you're tired ass don't want to give her back her child uh, because you done got two of them attached to her child. I wonder how the your family feel about this and why they ain't talking no common sense in your head saying, why don't you try that you in the t Barbara, you, I, I'm a, I'm a, I, I'm just gonna pause this video right here for I say something I don't want to say about no old woman. Barbara, you go to hell. You and your fake ass tears. You don't feel sorry for that baby at all. You doing that to get back at that girl. And I still said it. I'm going to say that till I'm blowing the fucking fan. See, everybody seeing through your bullshit now, Barbara. And if you notice every damn season like this woman just said. But you said... And she got, did this, did this, and did that, and doing better, you would get her custody of her child. What happened? Well, she is doing better. She taking baby scouts, but she always got to be around a man, and I basically want her to be alone when she had... So she not allowed to have a boyfriend or a man that's going to be there for her emotionally and physically, love her, care for her kid. Is she not supposed to have happy, meaning her child and a man, she not supposed to have that. And then the woman, Barbara, you dumb as fuck. I can't with you and your delusional ass. I don't want to talk to you about like this, but you driving me up the fucking wall with your damn lies, Barbara, and I can't. And then you going to talk about some, um, when the woman said, well, how do you feel that the baby, you ain't losing your baby? Here come the goddamn waterworks. And I didn't want to think about that, but uh, I'm going to feel sorry for the, Barbara, go to hell. You don't feel sorry for that baby at all. You fell in the stigma for that fucking baby. You will see that what you doing is fucking wrong. And at the end of the time, that boy get older. When he see all this and think about all this, that boy going to probably be more than more mad at you than he is in there. I hope you're ready to live with that because that's going to happen sooner or later. You're going to get this back in spades. Okay, okay, okay. You so delusional and you don't realize how dumb you sound. Christmas is a really touchy, touchy subject for you and you want to do this and that and it must go in there. Great. 
part about the 50-50 thing, Kel, you're not going to always get what you want. Most of the time, you will if y'all can both agree on the motherfucking shit. But that don't mean you get to pick and choose what as you want to be selfish on. And part as he get to get selfish on. That's why I'll be looking at your ass like you dumb because you sound dumb. Talking about Christmas and touchy. And what how you want Christmas to go on high. Here she go fit ready to fight then. Here we go take the shit to court again. I knew it. I knew she was gonna make this shit work before the court even got started. I knew it. It's Kale. Why are we all surprised by this? So Kale playing the victim again. However, you ain't doing yourself no fucking favors going out there confronting this dummy. Cause she gonna play victim every damn time. And she think every word come out your mouth is a slick coming. So she on high alert or red alert. And now she, y'all bringing up each other's dirt. Or I got dirt on you. You ain't got shit on me. Why are we playing this game? Please don't play. Oh God, here we go. You know what I know about observing is Kaya got her foot in her mouth and I think she didn't put her foot in the paint and there's no escaping and there's no running for it. Cause Harvey always gonna confront her with shit. With Joe. Joe was like kinda Kaya punching bag. She like ran over him, manipulated him, did what she wanted to him and all this. You notice Harvey is a different kind of man. Harvey don't let her run over him. Harvey don't let her talk shit to him. Like he always got to come at for her. He don't let her run away like a little selfish brat. He don't let her play vet them. You know what? I like Harvey because Harvey make her stand up in her shit. And like she out there trying to pull out, trying to go. And he won't let her talk about no stand up in it, stand up in it. And she never had this kind of man before. And she don't know how to act. And I'm kind of here to enjoy every last minute of her finally getting what she deserves. Somebody make her stand up in her foot. Something to make her stand up in her shit. She ain't running, playing victim, hiding, trying to hide on the shit, trying to keep the shit Harvey. Harvey make her stand up in her shit and I can appreciate that he actually do this cause Joe wasn't strong enough to do all this to her and it's kind of refreshing to see her a man actually make a her stand up in her truth, stand up in her ground you lied about this let's talk about this lie, you said this let's talk about this lie not let the shit go in the rug or she try to hit him with something like cord and like that and he ain't scared or fearful of it that's why I say I got much respect for Harvey now that I see he put the foot and ride with her. He cut hard on all her bullshit, but it's good, bad, or ugly. I can appreciate that, because she need this. She need to be called off of plenty of her bullshit, and I'm glad Harvey don't play this bullshit around with her. He played with her in her damn action, and I'm happy. Wait, 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 wait. Now, as I was enjoying this argument, you still hitting that man in the face about that men's carriage. How many months ago that is? Yeah, I chewed it out with the child. I know you ain't going to get over that. But it's time to stop using that as one of your low blows, Kale. Because that ain't affecting him. And like he said, how many times must he apologize for that? You can't keep using that because sooner or later that, that blow ain't going to work. So you using that as a low blow, I consider that a low boy. Show me you petty as fuck trying to hit that man with that low blow. And then he come back around with you opening your legs up to a man. Miss Walmart, remember that? Miss Walmart. Oh, I'm at Walmart. I'm not home. Mm-hmm. Walmart. I guess Walmart in the back of your house, huh? Up your stairs, huh? In your bedroom. That's Walmart. Oh, okay. Oh, anyway, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.